What's up, TTC? Um, sorry I haven't been on. I know I didn't make my picks today. Um, various reasons. I've been over at some family's house hanging out. I'm not going to be putting... I may be putting some of the rest of my picks up, but at another time, I probably won't be having my picks up for a while. Um, uh, but I, I've already made my picks, and some uh, TTC members, you can verify this for me, that I have made my picks on uh, College Bowl Pick'em um, on Yahoo Sports. But anyway... Um, that's beside the point. Most of you by now have probably heard that Urban Meyer is resigning after the bowl game uh, as coach of the Florida Gators um, due to health issues, as he says. Um, I hope that there's nothing wrong with him. I hope he's all right. But, um, guys, this has put us in a bind. I mean, uh, so down, pretty dominant for five years, and uh, this put us in a big bind. Um, Urban Meyer leaving, uh, first things first is, you know, how long have they known this? I really, really hope that they've known this since, like, after once he was hospitalized after the Alabama game. Um, I hope that they knew this then. So we've been looking for a coach because if this was sprung on us now, like the day after Christmas, we're screwed coach-wise. I mean, I really hope we don't promote inside. Steve Adazio did a horrible job also coordinating on offense this year. And uh, I... <laughs> You know, who are we going to get now? A lot of the good coaches are gone. So we're in a really bad situation here, guys. I mean, first of all, check it out. We had a chance next year to make it to the SEC Championship if Urban Meyer was coming back, you know. Because juniors, the juniors on defense were leaning whether they were going to go or not, you know. Uh, Aaron Hernandez was leaning. Um, we do have John Brantley, one of the best passers in the game. Um our wide receivers finally have some experience. They'd be coming back. I think we'd be decent. I think we could possibly make a run to the SEC Championship. Not without losses, of course, and it would be close, but I, I think we had a chance. Um, but, of course, now we've lost our defensive coordinator. Our wide receivers coach has moved on. We've already replaced him. But, anyway, that's beside the point. We're gonna, now that Urban Meyer's gone, we're going to lose all of our recruits, a lot of them. Um, we're going to lose uh, all of the juniors who were waiting on whether they were going to go or not. Offensive linemen, Aaron Hernandez, probably one of the running backs. Um, I'd say uh, Demps, most likely. Uh, we're going to lose all of our juniors on defense who, start, who started or played frequently. Um, we're in a really bad spot, guys. As Gator fans, uh, I know the rest of you guys may be rejoicing, the rest of you SEC guys, because I... You know, unless we get some miracle coach. I mean, come on, let's be serious. Most of the time, it takes two years to get good as a coach. Urban Meyer got a national championship his second year, you know. Um, but, you know, how long have we been looking for a coach? How long has this happened? We have no clue. We don't know. Um, there's going to be a conference tomorrow, Sunday. Um, but, yeah, so isn't this great and wonderful? Um, this really sucks. I just thought I'd come on here and say that. Um, crap, man. This isn't fun. Uh, we've lost Urban Meyer. Uh, I know you other guys out there, you may have hated him, but he was a good coach. you got to admit that. He was a good, good coach. He was a great coach. I mean, two national championships in five years after the Gators come off, you know, another four years of being total garbage. Or not total garbage, I mean... But averaging four losses a season is not Gators, you know. Not since two, not since you know, 1989. I mean, since 1989, the Gators have been the winningest program in college football. And now we've lost Urban Meyer. Not good, man. I hope he's all right, but uh, you know, he's he's resigning, so he's not getting any of that contract money. Um. And they say he's going to come back in a non-coaching role at the Florida program, so probably a recruiter. But my good thing is, if it's non-life-threatening, you know, if it's really, if it's non-life-threatening and it's not that big a deal, why would he quit? Why wouldn't he tell us way beforehand? You know, I think it's probably something serious. I, that's, I have to think it's something serious. He's given up all that money. He's given up. He's putting the Gators in a horrible spot. It has to be something serious. So anyway, I'm just uh, you can tell me what you think, all that crap. Um, it's you know not a good spot for us Gator fans. You know um, the rest of you SEC guys, TTC, rejoice because uh, I don't see the Gators doing anything for a while. Another two years probably.
Uh, let's put us in a horrible, horrible spot. Anyway, so yeah. FML, man. Just FML. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Gators. Merry frickin' Christmas.